Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 with the Brackets text editor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. In this video we're going to create a sort of portfolio type section. Uh, in the last video we, we did a jumbotron about favourite meals. Let's go down there. Scroll on down where we left off. We created this little jumbotron here. Now I want to create a section below it with some images um, that this button will scroll to. So let's get started. So let's open our brackets text editor. And if you don't have brackets, it's free and there's a link to the download below this video here. Once you've got brackets open, you want to open your index HTML file and your custom CSS file. If you've been following along, you'll know where those are. If you've not, you might not. So we started our site here with a folder our, with all our website files in it. Here's our index.html file. And we've got a folder named CSS. And Here's our custom CSS file. And all you need to do is right click and hit open with brackets. Or you can do it the old fashioned way and go to file, open and browse to your folder and open it that way. So we've got these open. And I'm going to go down to where we left off, which is right here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this section here just because I I need another section and it saves me typing it out again and I'm going to keep the container and the section and the bit in between I'm going to get rid of I'm going to take that away and I'm going to call this something else I'm just going to call it faves because it's an ID we're going to use this button to scroll to it I don't want to have anything the same. An ID has to be unique. OK. And for what we need to do today, I'm going to use an extension here in brackets. So if we just go to File and Extension Manager, and all these extensions are free. And I'm going to use one for this particular example called Bootstrap 4 Snippets. I'm going to go to my installed. And the one I want is this one right here. If you don't have it, just type, go to your available tab, just type Bootstrap No Gap 4 Snippets in there. It'll find it for you. You can download it, it'll download a zip file. You can just drag it over here and install it. And all these extensions are free that I'm using here. So once you've got it installed, just hit the More Info button. And it'll bring it up in a new web page. I've got one over here. And if you just scroll down, here's the short codes that they provide for you. And I happen to know the one that I want. It's just a three column example because I want three columns in our little page here. So all I need to do is hit Control, Shift and E. And it'll do it for us. Let's move that one back out of the way. I just wanted to show you how to get to that extension. So if I put my cursor down in between the container there and hit Control, Shift, and E all at the same time, bingo, it's made us a little container with four columns in it. Or with three columns, I should say, in it. <laughs> okay, and let's just give them a bit of space. And at the moment, it's got it as small for. I'm going to actually change that to large for, which is LG. Later on, I'll show you why. Um, Let's give it a bit more space there. And now let's use another extension. This time it's going to be my RCH. Let's 
see I've got a dot up there that means something is not saved on the index.html so let's just save that control s now if we open up our extensions again this time I'm going to use the rfch snippets again do the same thing if you don't have it just type this in rch bootstrap 4 snippets you can download it and use it I'm going to go to their web page and uh, I'll, let's close this I'll just drag it in so you can see it I'm taking my time with this I know a lot of these short codes but uh, I'm just trying to show you where they are and this really does save so much time when you're coding and I'm gonna put in a card but I want it to have an overlay of some text Here's our cards, and there, let's have a look. See, regular card, featured, full image, uh, image on the bottom, image overlay is the one I want to use. Card panel, card panel minimal, and card quote. And the one I want is image overlay. So that's I've got to type in, or I can just copy this. Let's get rid of that, and in between here tidy this up a bit just tab over there we go okay let's type bs4 card image there it is it's prompted us image overlay there we are it's put that code in there for us saved us a whole bunch of typing which is great although I've been typing for many years I am still absolutely lousy at it that's going to not look like much until we put something in there. And if we just look at what we've got here, we've got our, our little div, which is a third of a page. Then we've got a card, and it's telling it to have a background dark with white text. Then we've got an image, and it's called the class of image. Source, this is where the image comes from. At the moment, there's nothing in there. So let's put an image in there. If we go back to our bootstrap site here I've got a folder here where I prepared a bunch of images most of my square ones here are 500 by 500 it doesn't matter too much you don't want them too large but you don't want them too small either that they display sort of pixelated um, so I, can, I know they're in my images folder so I just need to navigate there to put them in so I'm just going to go in between there. But IMG, which is the name of my images folder, it's prompted us. If it hadn't it done, I can just do a forward slash. Then it shows us all the images in there. And it doesn't matter if you know the name of your image, you don't have to do it this way. You can just type it in. That's the one I want right there, I think. And there it is. He's put that image in there. And that's all I wanted to show you for the moment. Um, and don't forget when you're using images all images have to have an alt text and inside here you can put anything you want but it's usually a good idea to put something that relates to your site to help your SEO um, you know so if it was a site about bicycles you'd put you know blue bicycles or something like that you can also put blue bicycles in New York or in a in a you know a localized area it'll help your local SEO as well so just bear that in mind I won't go deeply into SEO because that's a whole topic on its own but uh, you can optimize with your alt tags there anyway moving on so we've got just about everything that I want here now let's just take a quick look at that what I'll do is I'll just copy this over Uh, there's the opening div, there's the closing div. I think that div's not quite in line there. Uh, let's grab all of that and let's stick one in between here and one in between our last column there and go take a look. And we should have three nice 
little card image overlay so control s to save back to the site and let's do a refresh and now down below our jumbotron there we should have three little cards there they are that's pretty much what I wanted and there we've got that uh, nice legend legending or the, the the writing over the cards and what I want to do is have this button linked to here let's give this a bit of padding on top so we've got a bit more space there so let's go back to our HTML and let's give it a bit more space here here's our container let's give it padding 5 p-5 that will just give it a bit more space control s there we go that's jumped it down a little bit what I quite like to do is that's okay what I'm going to do is have this button so it just scrolls down to these um, but what I kind of like to do I think I'll make these a little bit smaller and have four of them in the row so let's do that let's go back to our HTML let's copy click on the opening so you can see the opening and closing let's just copy another one of these here paste that in there and we've got to make these three now because with bootstrap a row always consists of 12 sections so if you have if you've got three it's going to be three fours because three fours are 12 if you've got four it's going to be four threes because four threes are 12 if that makes any sense at all but I probably need to do a bit of video about their grid system. That's a good idea. Okay, so we've got three, six, nine, twelve. So now we should have four of those. Let's have a look at that. Control S. Refresh. There we go. Yeah, that works. But what it's done, because I put that padding on the container, it's kind of squashed them in a bit. And so we're missing a bit of writing here. Let's go back to the HTML. And let's give that padding top PT5 and PB5 for padding bottom. That way, those images will be a little bit bigger and should be able to fit all that writing on there. Let's control S back to the site. There we go. And it's got that there now. Yep, quite like the look of that. That's fine. And I'm going to add another four underneath there, those. So let's go back to our HTML. And this time we can copy the whole row. See where it says row up here? There's the opening div, there's the closing div. Let's copy the whole lot. I think it was that one. Yeah, it was, it was that one. Control C to copy, bounce down. Now we've got eight of them. And I hear you so saying to yourselves, well, what's the point of having eight of all the same? Okay. Okay, and we definitely want some space in between these. Um, what we'll do in the next video is I'm going to actually put some images, different images in each one. And I'm going to have this card fade in with the, with the, text when you mouse over it so let's put a bit of space between these two so let's go back 
And let's have a look here. We've got a row. There's our first row. Well, let's give it some padding bottom of five. PB five. P for padding, B for bottom, five. With our nice new bootstrap four class that goes from one to five, small to large. Control S to save. Let's have a look now. Great. That's exactly what I wanted. There's our little portfolio section. And now let's just link this little button to here. It won't be able to scroll all the way to there because we've got nothing underneath and it can only scroll to the bottom of the section. So let's just put that link to this section here. Back to our HTML one more time. If we scroll up, here's our Jumbotron section. Here's the button. And there's the href of where we want it to scroll. Now we've given this section the ID of faves or favs. So it wants to go to hashtag because it's an ID favs. Save that. Control S back to the site. Do a refresh. Just take it up. Let's take it, oh, I guess, there. And hit this and it, sh it should scroll down to our. There we when we've got something below it, this line will be all the way up here to the bottom of our menu. So that'll do it for this video. It's going on a bit. And like I say, in the next one, I'm going to make some hover overlays for this. So the writing appears only when we hover our mouse over it. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please like the video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take one of our courses below. We've got some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. And there's also some awesome free courses down there. So please have a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.